Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday participated in the Ujwal Bharat Ujwal Bhavishya Power at 2047 program. He also launched the Power Ministry's flagship revamped distribution sector scheme which is aimed at improving the operational efficiencies and financial sustainability of the discoms and power departments. Speaking at the event, the PM said 170000 megawatts of electricity generation has been added since 2014 one nation one power grid has become the strength of the country so far about 170 gigawatt capacity has been installed from non fossil sources Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Saturday addressed a conference on drug trafficking and national security in Chandigarh. Speaking on the occasion he said that the fight against drugs in the country had progressed swiftly and had started to show results. Amit Shah added that the government had a zero tolerance policy toward narcotics. He further said the dirty money which was generated from drug trade was used in activities against the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on July 30th addressed the inaugural session of the first All India District Legal Services Authorities meeting. Chief Justice of India N V Ramana and Union Minister of Law and Justice Kiran Rijiju were also present at the meeting. Speaking on the occasion the PM said As important as access to the judicial system is for any society justice delivery is equally important the judicial infrastructure has an important contribution to this in the last 8 years work has been done at a fast pace to strengthen judicial infrastructure in india External Affairs Minister S J Shankar on July 29 at Shanghai Cooperation Organization Foreign Ministers meeting at Tashkent said that global energy and food crisis caused by disruptions due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine conflict should be addressed through resilient and diversified supply chains and reformed multilateralism. He also said in the presence of Pakistan's foreign minister Bilawal Bhutto that zero tolerance for terrorism in all its manifestations was a must. Days after Delhi Lieutenant Governor recommended a probe by the CBI into the implementation of the new excise policy, the Arvind Kejriwal government has decided to go back to the old regime of retail liquor sale in the city. The Delhi government has directed the department to revert to the old regime of the excise policy for a period of 6 months till a fresh policy is in place. Notably, Delhi LG VK Saxena had on July 23rd recommended a CBI probe into AAP government's excise policy over alleged violations of rules and procedural lapses. In a big setback to the Popular Front of India, the Delhi police on Saturday denied permission to the radical organization to carry out a rally in the national capital. This comes following the letter written by the Vishwa Hindu Parishad to Delhi police requesting them to stop PFI's rally. In the letter, VHP leader Surendra Kumar Gupta had claimed that the PFI had been running suspicious activities across the country and that they should not be allowed to hold any rally in Delhi. One terrorist has been gunned down during an encounter in Jammu and Kashmir's Baramulla district. The security forces had launched a cordon and search operation at Wani Gam Bala in Kriri area of the district following information about the presence of terrorists there. Notably, 126 terrorists have been killed in the Kashmir valley till now. Three bank accounts of Arpita Mukherjee were at least rupees 2 crore have been found has been freezed by the enforcement directorate. Bank accounts belonging to several shell companies of Arpita Mukherjee are also under ED scanner as per media reports. Earlier, the central agency had seized over rupees 50 crores from the premises of Arpita Mukherjee. Arpita is a close aide of former West Bengal minister Partho Chatterjee who is an accused in the scam relating to the recruitment of hundreds of teachers and non-teaching staff in government schools in West Bengal both of them are under arrest to commemorate the victory of Indian armed forces and pay tribute to the sacrifice of the gunners in Operation Vijay, point 5140 at Dras in Kargil sector has been christened as Gun Hill. 
the regiment of artillery of the Indian Army had a major impact on the enemy troops during the operation. Their defences, including Point 5140, played a key role in the victory in the Kargil War against Pakistan in 1999. Sanket Mahadev Sargar won India's first medal at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham by claiming silver in men's 55 kg weightlifting with a total lift of 248 kgs on day two at the Games on Saturday. The 21-year-old weightlifter lifted 113 kgs in the snatch before lifting 135 kgs in the clean and jerk for a total of 248 kgs.